Okay, guys, how are you doing? Welcome again. Welcome. Uh, I am uh, terribly sorry for what just happened. Uh, we face some uh, technical difficulties uh, from my side that I have to deal with um, some connection problems, uh, which terminated the uh, first attempt to stream. But we are going to do this from uh, the top, from the beginning. So immediately, without wasting any time after this disconnection problem, what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to the charts immediately after fixing this uh, little problem. Now, of course, we can overcome any problems that we face if we have, you know, the strength inside us. And I'm not talking about connection problems, of course. I'm talking about a huge problem that faces a lot of traders, which is not knowing how to make a profit in this very exciting environment. It's very exciting, yet very risky, of course. And one of the best ways that you can uh, use in order to overcome this problem is to educate yourself, to prepare yourself, and to read uh, a lot about analysis, risk management, to attend webinars like these, where we explain uh, trading um, strategies, uh, in addition, of course, to pointing out the best opportunities in the market for the day. So welcome back. We, uh, as a team, of course, can overcome anything. You can do that, of course. And uh, if you are a beginner, this is, of course, especially to the ones who are starting uh, this, uh, I'm, I'm calling it a business, this business of trading, uh, you should, most of all, focus on preparing yourself for this very exciting market, not on anything else, guys. First of all, prepare yourself, get ready, and then start this beautiful advent adventure. Okay, so we are back, guys. We were talking before we got cut off. <laughs> we were talking about the euro. Of course, on the chart of the euro, there is a number of reasons why we should believe that the euro is moving to the upside. This We came very close to triggering this yesterday. I wish we did. We stopped only two pips above this. The yesterday low was 10.53. Uh, unfortunately, because if we had um, triggered this signal, now we'd be closing it with around 25 pips of profit. We missed this chance, but of course, the chances and opportunities in the market are never ending. So we are looking for more uh, opportunities today. And that's why I'm going to delete this from yesterday. Uh, I was talking about how 1086 is uh, the resistance to watch. On Monday, we got to this level, as you can see, uh, only four pips above it. And we, since, since then, we have been trading below it. Uh, but there is, of course, finding resistance around retracement levels like this one is not very good for the bulls. But we have good news. And this is the news that I have for you guys. Another three to the downside. I love that. If you go back to these um, examples, when we had a three pointing to the downside, we had this one, then boom. We had this one, then boom. We had this one and we started to boom. It's just a small boom compared to the size of the ABC. And now we are having another ABC. So as long as we do not break below the bottom of what is supposed to be uh, a small wave C here, uh, this wave count is very bullish. On the other hand, if we break below this one, then a more complex uh, correction to the downside should be expected. And in this case, of course, first of all, 1051 is the support that we need to care about. We said this yesterday and on uh, my chart, the low for yesterday was exactly 1051. So we were extremely accurate. But of course, the prices in the market uh, on uh, the trading platforms for different brokers uh, ha found a low just, just a little bit, one, two pips above this low. And that's why our buy signal was not triggered, unfortunately. And we stayed on the sidelines yesterday on the euro, uh, on the yen, on the pound, Sidelines, sidelines, sidelines. We did not get in any of these currencies, unfortunately. But, of course, today we are going to try our best to find 
uh, more trading opportunities and to get in the market because yesterday was boring so boring to me i want some action today and i'm sure you guys want that kind of action as well right <laughs> so abc to the downside found support around 51 now another support that we need to care about if we break 51 in case the 50s are gone is sorry about this guys not this this is not the tool i'm looking for this is the tool i'm looking for one of the most important uh, retracement levels in my own opinion one that i really really care about is 71.4 uh, not because i discovered this level but uh, because it showed itself again and again to me in the market and i really believe in its strength so we do have this 71.4 here we uh, this is very close to previous lows previous tops here uh, this is i think 15 and 18 something like that yes 18 and a half here here the low is 15 16 15 16 so around uh, 10 17 obviously and we have also we have this one at 13 around 10 17 we have an obvious uh, support so it's it's exactly the same levels we talked about yesterday guys we had uh, a resistance at 1086 initial support at 1051 additional support backup support at 1017 and of course the major major support continues to be 109.95 we don't want to break below that support and that's why guys <coughs> we can use these numbers uh, again today to build a trading strategy which of course is going to look extremely similar to the one we had yesterday because the market did not move enough to break any important levels and when that happens of course we continue to count on the same levels until uh, some of them are tested or broken and that of course adds to our knowledge about the market but until that happens we are still going to count on these same exact levels from yesterday and build a strategy that is very very similar to what we had yesterday if we break above the resistance we need to be long of course so 10 pips to me, I'm not going to wait even 10 pips. I'm going to wait 9 pips. Exa uh, sorry, 5 pips. Exactly like yesterday. I remember we had a long yesterday at 91. So you can see the rush to get in on the long side from <laughs> coming from my side, of course, because I have seen many um, observations on the chart that favor the long side of the market. So I'm expecting the bulls to take control of this market. Uh, soon and if we start trading below the 50s that would be a little bit of a surprise to me but i, I will still of course count on on 10 17 and 109.95 so until we have a clear and clean break below uh, 109.95 i'm not going to change my mind guys uh, the euro is expected to move to the upside at any minute and maybe it's going to do so in a sharper way than it has been doing uh, for a while so this is this is not bad at all yeah, this is a good recovery attempt but you know after that the it was a little bit boring here uh, up down up down up down we got nowhere we traded for almost three days within 30 or maximum 40 pips 39 pips actually between this stop and this low here so it was uh quite boring for the past few days this can change today by breaking uh, 1086 once we start trading above that level uh, i assure you guys we will have a very good opportunity of moving to the upside and why am i saying that this can be sharper than we uh, are used to uh, uh, previously for the past few days on the euro we can see something very sharp here why because this could be wave one uh, and this abc wave two and here we have wave three and usually what is the thing that you should always expect it happens most of the time of course not all of the time but it happens most of the time is that wave three of any five wave sequence or even of any three wave sequence that's uh, when we call it wave c so the third wave in all sequences 
and the um, and the Elliott wave uh, theory or the wave principle, uh, be it wave three or wave C, are usually very very strong. They are usually the strongest among all waves in the sequence. So if we have a five wave, if we are going to have a five wave sequence to the upside, maybe this is going to be a wave three, and that means there's a good opportunity of it strong. So the, the move to the upside is expected to be strong. And even if it's a C, we had an A starting from here, A, and this three wave correction is B, and then we have C here. And yeah, guys, with that, of course, it is still a third wave, uh, be it C or three. In both cases, you should expect a strong move. Of course, if it's three, it's going to be much stronger because if it's a C, uh, uh, then it's a correction. It's a correction. And for this correction, of course, we cannot overcome this top here. So maybe we'll top here, here, but it's going to be strong anyway. Okay, guys. Now, uh, I just want to uh, update my chat link. And then, so I can see your chat, guys. I need to do this. All right. Sorry about that. But it needs to be done. So I'm going to... Yes, it is working. Fantastic. So now it's working, guys. Let's go back to the chart. Yeah. So, guys, uh, in all cases, we are in front of a good opportunity to move to the upside. Wave C or Wave 3, in both cases, we are expecting a strong move to the upside. And I really hope we see this happening in the market before the weekend. I really believe we can do that. Uh, that's why... Uh, we are going to buy if we break the resistance. So resistance at, uh, of course, we, we said that it's uh, 1086. That's why we are going to buy only five pips above that. Five pips are enough for me. I want to get out of this position if we break below 51. It's the support that we need to care about. So 51. I'd say 30, uh, 20 pips below that stop is going to be uh, 31. And our targets targets uh, first of all, of course, the, the initial target is going to be modest. For you guys who love small targets, and we are going to target a more exciting uh, profit with our target number two. So something like 40 pips or something here. Let me see these bottoms. I'm very interested in these two bottoms. I think they they can offer resistance when we start rising. This one here is at 30. This is at 27. So I'm going to place it at 30, 1130. And target two, we said that we have a retracement level short term, or maybe now we can call them medium term retracement levels because um, after dropping from a top in June, now we are retracing that drop from June until the first day of October. So we expect a move to the upside that can target retracements for this whole move to the downside okay one of them is 1209 so this is the first recommendation for today guys now if we drop towards 51 again uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, a good idea to buy because we have an ABC that is complete and if we continue moving to the downside that means X A B C so I'm not gonna buy at 51 but I'm gonna uh, take it down a little bit 
instead of 51. The 50% level is at 39. That is the next level. So if we start moving to the downside, don't buy here, guys. Okay? Because that means A, B, C, X, A, B, C. And the second C should reach a little below the first C. So not 51. We're going to buy at 39. Okay, guys? So buy at 1039. Stop is easy for this one because we can place it below 109.95, right, guys? So below 109.95, that means what about 30 pips, 65. Our targets, target one should be modest. Target two should be more exciting. Target one, we have 86, of course, as a uh, uh, resistance here. And Monday high is 90 only. Four pips above that, so I'm going to use 1090, 51 pips of profit. While target two is going to be the same one, 1209. What about the sell? Of course, without guys, even if we start falling, if you see the euro move to the downside, I really don't think it's a good idea to sell unless 109.95 is broken to the downside because we have. A number of support levels that can just come into play ahead of 109.95. And if you think the market's going down, maybe you're exciting about the euro dropping. Maybe you're right. It's a market. Who knows? You know, there is a number, a very good number of indications on the chart that the euro is moving to the upside. But it's a market. Who knows? Maybe the bears are the ones who are going to take control of this market. But before breaking 109.95, I really do not recommend you favor the bears. I really don't recommend opening short positions. However, in case of breaking 109.95, everything will change on the chart. That's why only with a break, with a clean and clear break below 109.95 for the good number of pips, that a short position can be justified. That's why I only am going to sell if we reach 109.65, okay, guys, stop. Um, stop should be above um, 10. I'm going to use the entry for this recommendation as a stop. 10.39, that's reasonable. And the targets, of course, we have been talking about 0903 for a long time. Uh, target number two going to be uh, 108.14. It's long-term Fibonacci retracement level, 78.6 retracement for the long term. So these are the levels uh, that we need to care about. And of course, these are the recommendations that we are going to go with it today. Immediately, I'm going to my uh, QTime FX live account and I'm placing these orders. First of all, I have a buy stop at 1091. Let me check. My stop's 31 and my target is 1130. Okay. And placed. Now we have placed this one. I'm going to place this one as well. Um, By limit at 10.39, our stop is 109.65, and our limit here is what 90, right? 90. And place. And the last one is going to be, of course, the short position, the short to order to sell on stop of course if the market moves to the downside i don't think it's going to be triggered but you never know it's a market that's why i'm going to place it anyway 965 our sub is going to be 10 39 and our limit is of course the seemingly important support at 10903 and place 
With this, guys, we are now ready to take advantage of the euro. If it moves to the upside above 86, or if it drops to the 30s first and then starts rising again, and hopefully it does not, but even if it breaks below 109.95 and starts falling. So we are ready to take advantage of these three situations. And uh, with this, guys, I think it's time to take our first break of the day. Uh, we are going to be back. And the first thing I'm going to do after the break is I, I'm going to interact with your comments, guys. And after that, we are going to talk about a strategy that you can use. I said before, I, uh, since Monday, we have been saying this. It is time to teach you how to fish. I'm, uh, I'm giving you a fish every day with these recommendations, but I want you to go fishing. Okay, and that's why I'm telling you about the tools I use, the strategies I use uh, every day in trading and analyzing the market. That's what we are going to talk about in the second hour of today's webinar. And of course, after that, we are going to take a look at other instruments. We are done with the euro for now. Uh, thank you very much for being here. It's going to be a very short break, only five minutes, and we will be back. And of course, before I go to my break, I want to remind you that this live stream is sponsored by QTime FX. It is because of their generous sponsorship that you are getting this for free, guys. You have seen the quality of these recommendations. I'm sure you did. Uh, you have seen what kind of magic we made on the first day of this week. We had profit last week. So we are making profit in a market where 80% of people fail to do so. So you are among the top 20% when you watch these webinars and you do watch them for free of course this kind of information is not free because it can make you thousands of dollars in profit so uh, it is not free in any way and uh, it is free only because qtime effects want you to know about the best opportunities in the market so that's why they came to me and they said mundar find the best opportunities for our traders we want them to make money that's how much QTimeFX loves you guys. And you should love them back because they are offering you a leverage of up to 500 to 1. They got the award for the lowest Forex spread broker of 2018 by ACIFMA. Imagine yourself trading with 0.4 of a pip on the euro dollar and the dollar yen with zero commission. Of course, a lot of brokers can offer such beautiful spreads, but they uh, come back to you asking for commission. They say, well, we give you this amazing spreads, but we need to be paid for offering you this kind of spread. And that, of course, leaves you where you were before trading with these very tight spreads. No, 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 not QTime effects. We don't do the things like this here. We do things in a way that makes it easy for you to achieve profit. We want you to make profit. We want you to trade over and over and over and over every day, make profit, be happy, be our clients for a long, 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 long time. And that's why, in addition to these fantastic spreads, zero commission, we are offering you two levels of bonus. Make a deposit of $300 and get $500 of bonus or make a deposit of $150 and get $250 in bonus. And of course, we have uh, terms and conditions for that, of course. You need to trade a certain number of lots so you can withdraw your money, but it's real money, guys. It's withdrawable. It is not a, a trading credit like a lot of brokers do. It is real, real money. Something you can withdraw, something you can spend with the misses, go uh, on a nice vacation over the weekend, uh, one day or two days, you take her to a good restaurant or buy yourself that gadget that you have been thinking of buying. Anything you have in mind, these $500 are yours. And we want you to withdraw them. We want you to enjoy them. That's why we are offering you this bonus. But to get the promotional benefits, guys, you must contact FX underscore Educast via Telegram. So please use this channel to get these uh, benefits. Okay, contact us, Telegram, FX underscore Educast, and the FX Educast team is going to be there to help you with everything they can. 
If you have questions, we are going to answer these questions. If you need help opening the account, we are there for you. If you just want to ask about the offer, the bonus, the spreads, they are going to answer your questions with a big smile on their faces. Very, very friendly team and very, very professional team. So don't hesitate. Contact us at FX underscore Educast via Telegram and let's open your real account today. And of course, that will help the stream to keep going because QTime FX is our sponsor, our favorite broker in the whole world. And when you open accounts there, they know that you are coming from the stream and they will continue to sponsor it so you can get the trading opportunities in the market day after day after day. Uh, with this, guys, uh, I have been very uh, excited to talk to you about the euro so far. After the break, we're going to talk about gold and today's strategy. So stay tuned. It's going to be a very short break. Five minutes and we will be back. See you in five, guys.
and we're done with the break how's everybody how are you guys five minutes uh, we took this break I hope you had something to drink uh, thought about the market uh, if you have any questions please shoot if you want me to analyze uh, any certain instrument I'm gonna be here to take your uh, requests of course and with a big smile on my face so guys we talked about the euro we are done with the euro uh, and before we start talking about other instruments i'm going to take a look at your comments thank you very much for being here everybody people who are coming back and people who are joining us for the first time thank you all very much it is really a great pleasure to see you all with me here every day to read your comments to get feedback on these recommendations that we are doing it gives me real personal pleasure to know that uh, traders are using these recommendations to make money and to achieve profit whenever one of you guys send me that i made profit on this recommendation it makes my day it makes me a very happy person it makes me feel that i'm doing something good and that that means a lot to me uh, success I'm, I'm very happy when i close my trades with a profit i'm very very happy it's probably the best moment that i i have the best feeling in the world when i click that withdraw a request i uh, ask for the profit i made and it uh, comes back to me to my bank account and i'm i'm very excited when i see these numbers uh, whenever i achieve profit whenever i withdraw i feel great it's the best moment ever but there is even one moment that i really really like more it makes me happier even than withdrawal of profit and that is of course when i meet somebody who is telling me that wonder uh, thank you very much for that recommendation i got in i made so and so pips 20 pips 30 pips 50 pips 70 pips 100 pips 174 pips like we did on monday with that gold recommendation so uh when I, whenever i come face to face or online on social media uh, uh with someone who's saying that it makes me very very happy so please uh, keep in touch you can find me on social media i'm in uh, i'm on linkedin facebook twitter uh whenever you want to talk to me whenever you uh, want to ask me anything about the market or analysis i will try my best to answer all questions of course in my very busy schedule but i always find time for my fellow traders you know my tribe my people uh, and I try my best to answer any question that uh, people come to me with. Some people ask me about uh, brokers. Where should I open my account? Where uh, do you think uh, I should put my money? Is this broker good enough? Is it regulated? And of course, I'm happy to answer that. I don't want you to open your account with scams, guys. Uh, unfortunately, every now and then somebody comes to me asking how they can get their money out of that a certain broker that is not regulated, uh, not uh, very well known, it comes from a country where there are absolutely no financial uh, rules and regulations there, and they can do whatever they want to their client money. Uh, that's why, guys, I always prefer to deal with brokers that have been tested brokers that are offering fantastic trading conditions like QTimeFX, our favorite Forex broker in the whole world. Guys, QTimeFX want you to make money. That's why they are having these webinars. They are giving you trading recommendations and they are asking me also to explain trading strategies because they want you to be successful in this market, guys. And of course, I am sure all of you agree with me that working with a broker that wants you to be successful is much easier than working with a broker that does not care about you and qtimefx definitely wants you to be successful they have shown this time after time and that starts with the amazing spreads they are offering guys but it does not end there with these unbelievable spreads they are also giving you the chance to trade with zero commission they are having your funds segregated in UOB, the bank ranked in the 22nd place in the World Bank ranking. 
they are offering you two levels of bonus guys 250 or 500 dollars depending on your deposit and that is a withdrawable bonus you can withdraw of course when you get uh, to the number of uh, lots that you uh, need to trade in order to withdraw the money so come on open your account withdraw the money withdraw the bonus we will be so happy to see you withdraw the bonus we want you to make this uh, money we want you to spend it in any way you like but to get the promotional benefits guys you must contact fx underscore educast via telegram come through us and we will give you all these benefits fx educast uh, via telegram you can find us fx of course underscore educast just get to us there any questions you have we'll answer them uh, if you need help in opening the account we are there to help you with a big smile on our faces okay guys so with this and before we move to the chart again i want to take a look at your comments welcome back that was of course the comment that we started after uh, being disconnected i'm sorry about this i had some problems with my connection today i don't know why usually it's super fast and very very fantastic but today you never know what happens you know to these technology things we are really really connected to our internet technology but sometimes of course they fail us uh, and we are getting not just addicted it's beyond addiction we cannot live without connection i i cannot live without internet for one hour i cannot do so but of course that's because of i my trading i want to follow the market all the time so guys um gabriel thanks to your expertise mother you made trading easy for an advice like me. i'm very happy to hear that gabriel very very happy and today i'm going to teach you another strategy because you're you're a beginner as you say so i'm sure you want to learn more not just to get in and out and make some profit here 20 pips here 30 pips there that's not uh, all you need as a beginner what you also need is to know how to do it yourself and i want to show you how to do it yourself i don't want you to be counting on me forever uh, as a beginner of course you need help from someone with experience someone who is really educated in the market um, had been there for many many years uh, but later on of course when you have enough experience you should be able to do this on your own i want you to be able to do this on your own i don't want you to depend on me or any other person forever although it's good for my business <laughs> but that's not how i do it i really like you guys to be successful on your own but first i am going to help you you are beginners you need the help i'm here to help you uh, later on i want you to be strong on your own making the decisions maybe one day not too long in, in the future some of you guys will be hosting webinars and trading sessions and uh, giving training courses Blaine how you doing my buddy Blaine again uh, is with us thank you for being here and of course he is always uh, complaining about the wave principle well maybe we are going to explain that for a whole week i have this idea on my mind but of course i need to find the time for it uh, and maybe we are going to have a whole week 15 hours live video streaming explaining the wave principle with 15 hours talking only about the wave principle uh, with examples of course i think things can be easier for you so this is educational of course now we are focusing on giving you the best trading opportunities in the market so we have to find the time to fit that in i really hope we do if we can find the time uh, within uh, this schedule this very busy schedule then i promise you this we are going to uh, make things easy for you so the wave principle a lot of people find it to be a little bit complicated and it is of course it is you need a lot of experience to uh, become a real aliatician you can count waves uh, but of course at the beginning you are going to find it very hard especially the corrective waves because they are much more complex than the impulsive waves impulsive wave setups are very easy to learn but when you want to learn about 
Corrections, corrections are very tricky and they need, really need experience. Elite Wave will be covered later by Munder, so stay tuned. That's fantastic news from FX Educast. I've been pushing for this for a while <laughs> and it's, it's finally happening. I really hope and, uh, we do that. I promise you this, guys, 15 hours, a whole week, three hours a day, Monday to Friday, only explaining to you how to use the wave principle. And in my own opinion, after 15 hours, you will start to understand it. But if you attend a webinar that is one hour, two hours talking about the wave principle, and uh, you're at the end of that webinar, you're going to say to yourself, what, what, what are they talking about? Because that is not enough. It is a, a really interesting principle. Uh, I really believe that uh, Elliot, uh, Ralph Nelson Elliot is a genius. Uh, for observing the things he observed back in the 1930s. Uh, and he left us with very good um, knowledge that a lot of people overlook. They don't care about uh, that much. But to me, no, I really like that. Especially when I focus on the uh, corrective patterns like these guys. I have shown you this. One, two, three, and again, we have a fourth one here. For the past three times that we have seen corrective uh, Elliott wave patterns, each time the market moved exactly in the direction expected and made profit. Uh, the last of them is, of course, this low here from last week, uh, very close to 109.95. Very, very fantastic Elliott stuff here. And again, we can count this as one. This is corrective. So we are really hoping for more upside action very, very soon. Uh, it's a fantastic principle and I really hope we will be covering that very soon. Okay. Uh, yes, of course, you can ask me for anything on chat. Um, if you are studying Elliott Wave or any other thing, and technical analysis, I will be happy to answer your questions. I love technical analysis more than anything else in the world. Uh, it is the thing that I have read about more than anything else in the world. I have read tens of books about technical analysis, guys. Well, they say that William O'Neill, do you know William O'Neill? He's one of the legendary traders and uh, publishers of uh, financial uh, publications. Uh, it is said that he read more than 1,000 books. That is a very, very large number of books. To me, I have read tens of books about technical analysis. It's my favorite subject in the world. I never get bored of it because it helps you uh, spot the best opportunities in the market. And when you do, even if you are not trading, it's a personal pleasure to see the market move in the direction you have. Uh, been expecting. You feel like, well, I'm a smart guy. I know where the market is going. You know, this this feeling, this cocky feeling that you understand how the biggest markets in the world are moving. It's a personal pleasure to me, even if I'm not in the market. And I say, the order is going up and it goes up. I'm happy. So, of course, when, I, when I'm in the market, I'm, I'm double happy. But even if I'm not, I feel like it's a victory uh, for me. So if you have any question at all about technical analysis, guys, I am here for you. We have Paul with us. Hi, Paul. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Yes, it, trading should be simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Never do that. Just keep it simple. Uh, spot the resistance and the support that you need to care about trade breaks or rebounds from these levels and boom that's it you don't need a very complex system I, I say this all the time some people believe that in order to be successful in trading you need a very complex system that generates buy and sell signals no keep it simple find the resistance find the support when one of them is broken go with the break but of course uh, you need experience to spot which resistance and which support are the most important ones because all of the time we have a number of resistance levels, a number of support levels, but which one is the most important, which one is the one that you really need to care about. This is the thing that comes with a lot of lead, uh, reading, 
technic about technical analysis and even when you do read without experience real money experience not demo trading real money experience without that you will not be extremely good but when you read a, a large number of books when you get a training material when you go to webinars like this one and the ones we have done in the past explaining uh, technical analysis and trading strategies and risk management you will get better but of course you will still need experience if you, even if you read 100 books you will still need experience uh, okay pound blaine wants us to um, talk about the pound yes sir we are going to do so yesterday we issued two signals but the market traded between the support and resistance we talked about, not touching uh, either of them. So we stayed flat uh, on the sidelines yesterday, no trading on the pound. Maybe today we are going to be in. Uh, Nick, Q time FX bonus is crazy. It is, buddy. It is. Who gives you $500? No, we have. <laughs> I, I hear about much smaller uh, bonuses. Uh, but $500, that is fantastic. It is really something very, very exciting. Hamoud, how are you doing, buddy? A name that shows uh, my friend here is definitely from this part of the world, from the Middle East. Uh, Michael, more people should watch this. I, I totally agree, buddy. I totally agree. But then again, of course, you know that successful people in the financial markets are the minority not the majority because one one of the reasons is that the majority they do not do enough homework and again i'm quoting i'm talking about william O'Neill for the second time in this <laughs> stream uh, i just said that he read more than 1000 books that's how people uh, say he did things he loved uh, doing homework and he said this specifically he said a lot of people lose money in the market because they don't do their homework. They, they're not getting prepared. One of the ways you can get prepared is to at least hear, listen to the opinion of a more experienced trader, especially someone who has 19 years of experience in the market and a chartered market technician designation and has been showing you a profit in previous webinars. Um, Blaine, thank you very much for spreading the word, buddy. Uh, it will be very exciting to have a lot of people watch this. And I really hope that we will be able to do the same thing that we did on Monday today. We, we had very good profit on Monday. Yesterday was boring, only one trade. And it, it's, all, it's very close to where we opened it. Uh, nine recommendations. The market was boring. And nine recommendations were not touched. Out of ten, we had one uh, trade. So, guys, immediately, thank you very much for this uh, interaction. I really like the chat section because you guys are very exciting. You are here to learn. You are here because you love the market. And I have a very simple rule. If you love the market, I love you. This is my rule. If when, whenever I meet somebody who is really excited about the market, I really feel connection to this person immediately. I start liking them and loving them immediately. You just love the market and I love the market. Now we can talk and we can talk 24 hours a day and I will not be bored because it's the market, guys. The market, the most exciting game a man can play these are the words of the legend himself jesse levermore the greatest trader who ever lived he said this this is the most exciting game a man can play forget about video games guys football i love football but you know it's not the market the market is more exciting than football <laughs> okay so let's talk about the strategy guys Today we are going to talk about secondary trend breaks and the direction of the main trend. This is one of my favorite points of entry. First of all, let me explain to you what do we mean by the main trend? Because when you say trend, you, you hear the words uh, primary, 
main, secondary, a minor. So people use all terms of adjectives to describe trends. That means that we have a number of types of trends, not, uh, not only one uh, trend type. So in any given trend, guys, the price goes up and down. It doesn't matter. Even if we are in a very strong to the ups, uh, trend to the upside, that does not mean we are going to move in straight lines. We're going up, we're going down, then up, then down, then up, then down. There is always some movement to the upside, even in a downtrend. And there is always some movement to the uh, downside, even in an uptrend. So no matter where the market is going, it's going to do so with a series of highs and lows. Even if we are in a very strong trend in one direction, we are still going to see inside this trend moves in the opposite direction. And this, the concept of main trend, means the overall a trend that includes, of course, moves to the upside, moves to the downside. The main trend is the net result of these up and down movements over a period of time. The net result, guys. So we are comparing where we started with where we are right now. If there's a period uh, that you need to understand the direction of the main trend uh, um, during, you need to see the net results. And for that, we have we have methods we can use to identify the direction of the main trend. First of all, this is something that it's surprising to me that a lot of people do not know. The most basic goal of technical analysis is to identify the trend. To some people, it is to identify turning points in the market. But no, that's not the main goal for technical analysis. You, maybe you're taking too much risk. You are a, a gambler. Uh, well, I, I would not say gambler. I'm sorry, but, <laughs> but you are the kind of person who wants to take a lot of risk, wants to uh, bargain, get the best prices for your entry. You want to sell at the top or buy at the bottom. Well, and you consider that as your goal. Well, okay, but that is not the most basic goal of technical analysis. To me and to the vast, vast majority of technical analysts, you identify the trend, you follow the trend. It's not about going against the trend. It's not about fishing for tops and bottoms, guys. No, that's not what you should do. You can do that and sometimes you will feel great. Of course, you're going to make a lot of money, but in more uh, times than not, you will be sad. You will be suffering from losses because when you do fish for a top, that means the market is moving to the upside and you want to sell at the top. And when the market is moving to the upside, that means the trend is up. We have an uptrend. We have a direction for the price to move higher. And when you try to pick a top, of course, when the market is moving higher, what we expect is higher highs and higher lows. So you want to pick the top, but give the market some time and you will have a higher top and you will be in loss. Right, guys? So picking uh, or trying to pick and fish for tops and bottoms, sometimes it's very exciting. I know that. But it is a risky business and it does not go well with the spirit of technical analysis because we really believe one of the most basic concepts and uh, 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 things that the technical analysis, all of technical analysis is built on, is that markets move in trends. This is a basic principle in technical analysis. Markets move in trends. So identify the trend, follow the trend, make money. Identify the trend, try to trade against the trend, most of the time you're going to lose money. And that is one of the main reasons, in my own opinion, why 80% of traders lose money. because they can see on the chart that the trend is up and what they do is they want to sell. You see with your own eyes the market moving to the upside and you're looking to sell. Why? This is my most basic question. 
why are you doing this to yourself and to your account it's much easier to follow the trend uh, not try to pick the top or the bottom and then get in with a position that is 100 percent against the main direction of the trend so the most basic goal of technical analysis is to identify the trend and we have methods to do so first of all the peak and trough or the lows uh, in an uptrend we can notice that each time we are reaching a higher high and at the same time a higher low the charles uh, sorry the father of technical analysis the godfather of technical analysis uh, at least in the western hemisphere uh, charles zhao was probably the first or one of the very first people who says, he noticed that when the trend is up we have higher highs and higher lows that means the price goes to a high goes down to a low and then to a high that is higher than the previous one and then to a low that is also higher than the previous one and the trend is going to continue until this sequence of highs and lows is broken so peak and trough is the most basic way of identifying the trends it has been used for almost 130 years right now so uh, it's something you can count on something that has been used for more than a century um i bet that is something you can count on now of course we have trend lines we love our trend lines drawing the right trend line can help you a lot identify the direction of the trend and of course we also have the moving averages it's very simple guys you have if you have been watching my webinars i'm sure you uh, have noticed that breaking or crossing let me use the right term crossing i use breaking but you know it is called crossing if you want to be accurate crossing moving averages to the upside to the downside that's an indication of the direction of the market when the price is trading most of the time above the moving average that's an indication of an uptrend when the market is trading most of the time below the moving average that is an indication of a downtrend and of course guys we have retracements i love retracements when the price tops at a retracement level that's an indication that the trend is in the other direction for example if we are uh, rising then we start dropping and we find support very close to a key retracement that's an indication of the market moving to the upside and the main trend being uh, an uptrend and finally what, what i say to my trainees what i say to beginners when they start uh, learning about the trend i say just look at the chart just take a look at the charts compare the price at the beginning of the period under investigation with the price at the end of this period and if they are very close to each other then there's no strong trend there but if there's really a difference between earlier and then we need to identify the secondary trend 